like to grow yams, yam seedlings. You want to produce a lot of yam seedlings. You can do that with the vines. Please consider subscribing to my channel and come along. This is Princess Lillian's garden. Welcome again to my garden. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the results of uh, growing yams from leaves and vines. The roots have come out. These roots have come out now. It's been about three weeks. I just wanted to see how long the leaves would survive so that we would know if this is the right time to start growing it or not. And I've discovered that a lot of the leaves started dying about a month. So I planted this in October. I did this video October 7. This one is already dying. So this shows me that it's too early to start planting them in October. But if you start about this time, December, January, it will be the perfect time. This was too early. So after developing the roots, the leaves are going away. There's going to be nothing to support the life of this plant if there's no leaf. So please don't try to start growing it too early. Wait until January or the earliest December so that you get the plants growing and supporting itself properly because the leaves will carry on photosynthesizing and the roots will carry on growing to produce the yam seedlings that we are aiming for. The second thing I want to talk about is we should not use just one leaf. Please, let's, you see this leaf is on a vine, but there's a higher risk of this not surviving. If you have one that is like this, there was a leaf here and there was a leaf here. It had three leaves, that's what I'm trying to say. Two of the leaves have died and one still remains. If I had planted it in December, January, probably the three leaves will remain. But we still have this stem and I can see a tiny leaf trying to grow out of here, which means this plant is going to be well supported. So when you want to grow your yam, from leaves and vine, don't use a single leaf, please. Yes, a single leaf will work, but it will be more tedious. Try to use about three points. That's a short vine with three leaves on it. Put it in the soil and make sure you keep it well watered. When I did that video on growing yams from leaves, I was mixing some fertilizers. This is NPK. It's stabilized once you mix it. This is calcium. And the reason why I was mixing it is because this proportion is what the plants need. So that you don't grow yams and then it becomes oh. When it's tested, the yam is too full of fertilizers. The percentage that I did in that video is the perfect percentage that we need for growing most foodstuffs, if not all. What you would also want to do after you thought of applying this, you can apply as much chicken manure as much earthworm poop, as much cow or horse manure, that does not come back as residue in the plants that you're growing. 
Because these are chemicals. When your yam is tested, if the percentage is too much, that yam will be considered not too safe. As much chicken manure, house manure, earthworm poop, compost as you put in, it's all right. If you just make your yam the better, the bigger. But if you put too much of chemical fertilizers, your yam will not be good. It will not be acceptable for human consumption. These fertilizers are made from chemicals. And they actually discourage the ecosystem of the soil because they leave residues. They leave residues in the soil, they leave residues in the plant. So that's why I want you to dilute it very well as I did in that video and then use as much cow, dung, horse, manure, chicken, manure, earthworm, pigs, any sort of manure that you find. You can use as much of them as you like and they will just be natural enrichment for the soil. When you are using proper fertilizers, measure it, dilute it, so that your yam comes out good. One other manure is grain manure, and I've made a video showing that. I will upload that video so you can see how we make green manure from weeds all the weeds that are gather around can make green manure out of them. One more thing that I would like to mention is why is it that these yams are growing from leaves from it's because they are vining plants. They are climbers. They do not just go up on their own. They need something a sort of a frame to support them to grow upright the stems are very thin so you'll find out that on each point there's a tendency for it to regenerate because nature has found it's a sort of um, compensation because it has a higher chance of breaking so that if it breaks it remains there in the soil, in the forest. Maybe one animal is passing by and it breaks. Then the chances of it regenerating is higher. It's not the same as if a tree broke and fell down. If something that is a climber breaks, you only need part of it to be in the soil. And you will have, it won't be the entire plant. But definitely, that little piece that's been broken, something will grow out of it. So that's just nature's way of ensuring that these plants don't get killed. Because they are vines. They are in the way when animals are trying to pass through in the forest. Before humans discovered them. So that's just one reason that this will grow from leaves and from the vines. That's the simplest way I can explain it. This is also a vining plant. And if I cut one leaf and make sure there's a little part of the vine on it, it will grow again. And what we are aiming at is producing yams like this. In my video, I showed the yam that I cut and I put it in the soil. I'm going to get that now so that I can show you. So this yam has been in the soil since October 7. I've already checked it, so I already know. So I brought it out to have a look at it. And um, here it is. It developed some roots. They're sticking out. It has some roots on this side as well but October is too early so this thing is not really going to survive but the reason 
why it's growing roots is because the yam doesn't really dry off if you leave it in the soil. It's just going to develop roots for the following year. So there's a very great chance that this might survive or it might not. So you want to ensure that it survives. That's why I would say let it wait until about December, January before you actually cover it with soil and the leaves and the roots grow out. When you now have a lot of leaves, you can cut them and produce a lot of yam seedlings. And the reason why I would like you to give consideration to these fertilizers is if you have a lot of seedlings, you are not the only one who is going to be eating it. And even if you are the only one who is going to be eating it, you're producing a lot of yams. That's the more reason why you shouldn't put too much fertilizers in them. You want to sell or gift food that is safe to other people. You may want to go into selling yam seedlings. You can do it this way and you would have some yam seedlings to sell. This is how you will grow hundreds of yams with this method. You put it in, you wait for the leaves to grow, you cut them and put them and let it develop new roots. You don't have to put it in water. You can put it directly into soil and it will still grow. But you need to keep it well watered and in shade. You don't want these leaves to just get beaten by too much sun. It's going to be in a shady place and well watered. And then the roots will grow. In about eight months, you will have a seedling about this big. You can grow that on the following year. It's something only someone who is determined can do this because it's not going to be a big yam yet. It's going to be a seedling that's about the size of a fist. That's what you get for. Some of them may be big, but what you're expecting are seedlings from growing this way. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my video when I talk about uh, the green manure that's also very very important so consider subscribing to my channel have a nice day bye thank you for watching I hope you'll be able to grow better yams see you in my next video